Well, my argument is that we have to, <clears throat> we have to revisit all our previous assumptions. And I don't know how well based our previous assumptions were anyway. So we're driving towards something which is called net zero. So over a very brief period of time, we're trying to get rid of oil and gas and move on to renewables. Now, the problem with this is that uh, the renewables so far are not entirely reliable because most of it is wind power and wind power only operates when you have wind. We have a very limited nuclear policy. Nuclear is also uh, carbon free, but unfortunately we only have a very limited policy. And broadly speaking, in Britain, we're closing down our gas wells and closing down our oil fields. And certainly we're not developing any more. So? Now, so I think all of this has to be revisited. And there's a particular moment coming where I think in coming days, we're due to concrete over our fracking wells. Yes, yeah. So fracking is onshore gas, which comes out of um, formations of rock on land. I can't think of anything madder than to concrete over gas wells. But how do you go to the international world <clears throat> and how do you lecture India and China and Africa and everyone else and, and, and yet say we are staying committed to carbon fuel? But wait a minute, I'm, I'm a bit tired of being lectured by others. We have been lectured by the European Union about going green and what have they been doing? They've been making themselves 40% dependent on mm -hmm. Russian gas. Uh, I mean, it was to me amazing to discover that the European Union was taking all this gas that had made itself so dependent that it is becoming more dependent when people in Britain, on the other hand, are being asked to make all these sacrifices to close down our gas industry and to close mm. down our oil industry. Certainly time for a rethink. Yeah, it was interesting. Mm. Prime Minister yesterday, <clears throat> first time hinting this new energy strategy, uh, supply <clears throat> strategy would involve more drilling in the North Sea. So he's changing his he is tune a little bit. He, he, he's very worried about this because um, the Conservative Party has got itself very, very committed to green policies and they think there are votes to be lost. I, I would like the Conservative... I mean, if we're talking about votes, which is only part of it, but I'd like the Conservative Party to think very carefully that the, uh, the metropolitan Green vote is in London, where the Conservatives now have almost no seats, and the people who are quite worried about this are in the so-called Red Wall seats. Uh, so I... Th sorry, the people who are worried about our restricted supply yeah. are in the Red Wall seats. Mm. So I think, actually, the politics for the Conservatives of making a change here make pretty good sense to me.